Hey guys and welcome back to my channel. Please excuse the way I look. I'm quickly filming this video as my son is in the bath. Um, I was going to film it when he was in bed tonight, um, but great opportunity wise in the bath. His dad's up there with him. So yeah, this will be my hospital bag for baby number two. Um, I'm being induced on the 22nd of August 2019, depending on when you're watching this, I guess. Um, and I'm really excited. The only things that won't be in this haul are the matching outfits that I made the other day, just because I haven't packed them yet. And you'll have seen them on my vlogs as well. If you haven't seen that already, go back to, to um, watch my vlogs. And my dressing gown hasn't been packed either, but I might try and get a thinner one because I think the one I've got is a bit too thick. It's too wintery. So that might be why. I'll go for the baby's bag first and then I'll go through my bag. So for the baby's bag, I just picked up this holdall from Primark. It's um it's quite large. Um, I'll show you what's inside. So let's open that. Right. So first thing I'll pull out is a blanket. So this was actually bought for Mikey when he was a baby. Um, and I believe it was from Primark actually. So it's just a standard blue blanket that's obviously been washed and whatever um just for just in case it's chilly when we want to come when we come home because obviously the hospital will have blankets and stuff anyway but i thought it'd be nice to um pack my own blanket for the baby um as i said just in case and whatever also we'll be taking a car seat and a car seat blanket that my sister i believe it's crocheted it's actually in the box over there um so he will have a car seat blanket for the way home um which was also mikey's so um, that also won't be in the hall because, I mean, I could show you, but literally I just sat down and I've really hurt my pelvis. So I'm not going to do that. I'm really sorry. Anyway, um, I also packed, I got this bag in the baby box bag. So I packed this, but I've just put 10 first size nappies in it. Um, and I'm just taking 10, well, I think they're not first size, but they're number one. Um, I'm not having a, I'm at, my baby's weighing roughly 6, 12 already. I'm being induced in two weeks, so I think these nappies, they might be a little bit big, but if not, um, they won't be too small, if you know what I mean. So I've just got ten of these in there, and it makes a great bag for, like, uh, dirty laundry and stuff like that, because if the baby gets sicky and whatever, you know what I mean. I've also packed um, this, which is a nipple shield um, for breastfeeding. When I tried to breastfeed Mikey in the hospital... Um, it didn't go to plan. I really struggled. He didn't latch. Um, and I didn't want that to happen again. I did really want to try and breastfeed again. And I did buy this with him about a week or so after he was born, like Mikey. And um, it just, it still didn't, it didn't really do what I wanted it to do. But I've heard that it's some people it does work for. I don't know if it does sniffle confusion or anything like that. But I figured better be safe than sorry and just try it. So I bought that. Um, I didn't realise I packed two blankets. So there was two blankets for baby in there. I only probably take one blanket for baby. Um, yeah, so I didn't mean to pack two blankets. I also packed this, which is the Aptimil starter pack. And it comes with six teats. I don't know if you can see it. Is it? Oh, yeah, there is. But six bottles and six teats, which are already sterilised. Um, I did open it to see what it was like inside. And I'll just quickly show you. So, the teats come sealed like this, they're already sterilised, and then the bottles just come like this, so you just screw the teat on, basically, um, so you don't have to worry about taking my bottles and sterilising them or anything like that, and the reason I bought the ready-made, let me put this back first, I won't even need all six to be honest because babies don't drink a lot at first. The reason I bought formula with me is just in case the breastfeeding doesn't go to plan um, or I decide I actually don't want to be breastfeeding like maybe he, he does latch fine and I don't enjoy it because I don't know how long I'm going to be in the hospital for anyway. So I wanted to make sure I had that just in case and um, I don't have to worry about it if you know what I mean. If not then... Um, I mean, it's all sealed. I don't know if 
I could gift it to somebody else. Obviously, you couldn't like resell it or anything like that because it's baby formula. So, but um, I also packed. I believe I packed three of these. Yeah, I did. I packed three muslin cloths. Um, just in case baby gets sicky. Really, I remember the first night with Mikey in the hospital. We had to, we stayed overnight because he was born in the evening, and he um. He actually woke up choking, kind of, and he was choking on the mucus, um, which I didn't know newborns got. So when the nurse came out, or the midwife came out, she said, oh, it's just a bit mucusy, but it's just been born. And I was thinking, well, why didn't, you, why didn't no one, like, say that could happen? Do you know what I mean? Maybe they didn't know, but I was a bit annoyed because I was, I panicked, and, like, I didn't know what to do, you know, first-time mum. So um, I packed that. Right, now I've packed this, which was the first thing Mikey ever wore. So, it's this sleep suit, and it's zero to three months. Now, my baby is currently weighing smaller than Mikey was, and he's going to be wait born two weeks before Mikey was. So, I don't think it's going to fit him. So, I'm debating whether or not I should just take it out and put something smaller in. Um, but I, I packed that because I wanted it to be the first thing that he ever wore, like Mikey did. But then maybe I should change it. Let me know what your opinion on that is, because I thought it would be really sweet. But maybe I should make it more original for himself, if you know what I mean. Um, and maybe save this. Because you can make those keepsake teddy bears. And I could save this for like one of those or something. As it was the first thing that ever went on his body. Um, other than the vest. But I can't remember what vest it was and it was done up. So I don't know what vest it was. I also packed a little cardigan for coming home. I just got this little blue one. There was another blue one I was going to pack as well. Um, but I suppose I only need one, don't I? So, yeah. Um... This was made by my sister, so I actually don't know what size it is. I think it's zero to three. It does look quite big, but I just thought that it's not going to be that cold when we leave. It's going to be like the end of August, so I don't think I'm going to have to wrap him up too much, if you know what I mean. Um, I also packed just some regular wipes. Um, with Mikey, I just used cotton wool and water, um, but his bum was never sensitive. Like His skin was ne has never been sensitive. And there's nothing to say that this baby's skin might be sensitive, but I've never had sensitive skin. I don't think Mike's really have ever had sensitive skin. This just came in one of those freebie pack things. So I was like, um, I would use any wipes. I just thought, I'm just going to try and use wipes. I don't, if obviously if the baby's bum gets too red and whatever, then I'll just go straight to water. I also will be taking water wipes with me that ain't been packed. They're just up there, I've just remembered. Um, so what wipes will I will use? But, um... Maybe I'll just take the water wipes and not these, actually. Because if I take the water wipes, I can use them for me and the baby for the first couple of um, days until, like, baby skin isn't as fresh, if that makes sense. So, yeah, maybe I'll just do that. I'll take water wipes. I'll take these out. Um, we're planning together. And then the last things, a couple of things, are just, like, the clothes. So I'll show you them, like, the clothes, quickly. Um, and the things that were in this little so in the side pocket in the inside I just kept the small things which were two hats because they need to wear a hat for the first 24 hours to help their their body temperature some scratch mittens because their fingernails are sharp I'm surprised we don't get scratched up on the inside honestly when they come out they're sharp um I have another hat here I don't know why there's three hats in total maybe I should love this hat I don't know um but when Mikey put the first hat on that he had, it had a bit of blood on it, so we had to change the hat. That's why it's good to take spares, if you know what I mean, just in case. Um, I've got this newborn vest. This was actually Mikey's, um, which might actually be the perfect size for him. And then I've got a couple of zero to three month ones. I don't really have any smaller vests than that, um, smaller than zero to three months. So he's just going to have to wear a really big vest. I don't see the point of buying new ones if he's just going to grow out of them, to be completely honest. Again, just so there's three zero to three ones and one newborn, which is probably the first one he can wear because it'd be tiny, won't he? And then I just got a couple of sleep suits. These came in a pack and they're up to one month, which is really handy. And Mike's sisters bought them. So they come in a pack of three. That's the first one. So then this is the second one. Um, and this is the third one newborns only need to sleep in these up to three months you do not need any other type of clothes like you don't need jeans you don't need joggy bottoms you don't need t-shirts you need these these are the most comfortable things for a baby um 
I mean, if you're going to go out for the day and you want to show your baby, the f your family the baby for the first time, yeah, okay, you might want to dress him up a little bit or her up a little bit. Um, I love it when little girls have the vests with the little tutus. I think they're so cute. Um, but, like, in everyday life, trust me, you just need a body, a body grow suit thing, whatever they're called, sleep suit thing, and some vests. So I've got three of each size plus the newborn vest because I just think the other ones are going to be huge anyway. Um, and some hats and mittens. And then obviously I might have to change this one. I don't know though. I might just take it anyway just in case Mikey can't, not Mikey, just in case Bert can wear it. Bert is his nickname. His real name is not going to be Bert. Just to let you know. So that's everything that was in the baby's bag. And now I'll show you everything that's in my bag. So... I'm just going to, I'll put this to the side and I can pack that back afterwards. I've got to pack a couple of things in there anyway, as we just discussed together. What we was going to do, we was going to put the wipe member, right? So yeah, the only thing that needs to go in the baby bag are water wipes. The water wipes, was there something else I said that I had to pack? Oh, and the new outfit. So I've got up to one month in the outfit that's going to match Mikey. Which is going to be his coming home outfit, which I can't wait, so it's kind of exciting. Oh, actually, no thinking about it. If he's going to wear that outfit, he's going to need some, like, baby booties. Because his feet are going to be exposed. So he's going to need some socks and baby booties. So I'll have to pack those as well. So that I've also packed one pair of booties and one pair of socks. Or just socks. Because actually, I'm thinking it's going to be cold. It's not. It's going to be really warm out. And he's going to have a blanket. So yeah, I'll just pack some socks. So that's the only other thing that would have to go in his bag. Are the wipes and that outfit. Um, and I'll take out one of the blankets because I forgot I, packed, I didn't realise I packed two. Um, now moving on to what's in my hospital bag, I decided to pack a suitcase. You might think I'm crazy. Um, I think my baby's going out of the bath. Yeah, you might think I'm crazy, but I can't show you. It's just one of the little holdall bags that you um go on an airplane with. So. I actually managed to fit it all into a holder before, so I don't know what I packed before. But I think the thing was, I I was living at my mum's at the time, and it the hospital was a lot closer. I mean, it's not much closer, but it was closer than where I'm living now. So it was easier for people just to go run back, run and back to run back and forth with whatever I needed. Whereas this time, where I live, I don't live with my parents. She doesn't know my mum won't know where everything is, so she could. Run, I've just closed it and opened it. Oh, this is it. Oh, just, just two seconds. All right, I've opened it. As I was saying, um, the reason why I think I've overpacked a little bit this time of my stuff is because um, where I was living at my mum's, my mum knew where everything was, basically. She knew where all the baby stuff was. She knew where all my clothes were. Um, whereas now I live on my own. Like I, live, I don't live with my parents. Like, if I ask my mum to come, mom, my, like, Mike will know where the stuff is, but if I ask my mum to run back and forth to get me stuff, she might not know where it is. Um, so I'd rather just have it all um, at the hospital if I need to. And I don't know how long I'm going to be in the hospital for. Ideally, only over one night, um, depending on when he's born. So if he's born during the day, they might let me home that day. If he's born in the evening, I'll have to stay overnight. Or I might be overnight in labour, if that makes sense. So it all really does depend on when he's born. And I just want to make sure I've got enough stuff for three nights day, or two nights and three days. I think, or I might have even packed for three nights, but um, anyway, moving on, I've just randomly got on top a maternity bra, so it's actually a nursing bra, so it's one of the, this is from Primark, Primark do maternity range, this is one of the ones that unclip, you know, when you, so you make it easier, you don't need bras like this, you can just pull your bra down or just not wear a bra, um, but as it was quite cheap, I decided to buy a pack of two, so I just packed one of those. I've packed some socks, so I've got some fuzzy socks. I actually got these for my birthday, I believe, um, for my mum. And I've saved them, because like, these are going in my hospital bag. Um, so I haven't worn them yet. And they're going to say, yeah, I've saved them for the hospital, basically. And then my mum bought, oh, I do have socks for the baby, I remember now. My mum bought me this um, on Mother's Day. This is mummy and baby, and oh, it's really cute. She left a price on, silly, silly bean. Um, but no, it was really cute. Actually, it might have been for my birthday, not Mother's Day. I can't remember. But, yeah, she bought me this. And um, I absolutely love it. So, we'll be wearing matching socks home. I should try and get Mikey some like, matching socks or something. I don't know. But, yeah, me and the baby will be wearing matching socks home. Um, so, he will have socks. I just need to make sure he's got booties or something. So, at least he's got socks all good. At least I won't actually be getting that. Um, and then I've got um, 
a pack of underwear. I just bought new underwear. I just thought they're the full briefs because I want to be comfortable. I'm going to be bleeding a lot. So I'm going to have to wear them big pads. Um, so yeah, I just bought these from Asda. And I've left them in the packet for now. Um, I bought some maternity pads because I'm going to need these. I've only bought one pack for now because, to be honest, I don't know how often I'm going to use them and how many I'm going to need. And I don't want to buy too many and then, like, not need them, if you know what I mean. And they're so cheap. So, um, I'm just going to buy them when I need them. I'll get my mum or Mike to run out and get some when I need them if I can't go out myself, you know. Um, I also packed this bag. I bought some primer. I had no use for it. And I made a use for it. So I've just put my toiletries in it, basically. Um, I bought all new stuff. Um, I bought this shower puff because I'm going to want to shower after I give birth. I remember after I had Mikey, I felt so grub like grimy and sweaty from like all the pushing and stuff. It was just horrible. I just felt really gross. So I know I'm going to want to like shower down and probably wash my hair. Um, I bought a bag to put my dirty laundry in. It's just a tote bag. So, um, just put my dirty stuff in. If it doesn't fit in the other bag, it might fit in the other bag. But I thought just to be on the safe side. Um, I've also got some medication in here because I'm on metformin and paroxine. I've got some toothpaste. I was running out of toothpaste anyway. That's why I bought a new a like, full size toothpaste and by the time I have the baby I'll probably be on a new toothpaste so I just bought a cheap toothbrush um, to take to the hospital rather than worrying about packing my own because I'll probably forget it to be honest um, some cheap shower gel I bought the one with the hook so I can hang it up in the shower um, to make it easier so um I bought a roll-on deodorant because this is the best thing um, in the UK. I mean, I know in America that you, all most women use roll-on. I don't think you can get female body like deodorant spray. Quote me if I'm wrong, but I've been to America before and I couldn't find it anywhere. So, as I said, quote me if I'm wrong. But I bought a roll-on rather than a spray um, because if I'm breastfeeding, I think it's I think it's better for the baby if you're breastfeeding. Also, it's better to buy a non-scented one. But I bought this one because it's on offer. And I like the smell. And it's going to smell like me if I smell like this. It does, won't it, right? So, I don't know. Um, and I just bought some 2-in-1 anti-dandruff shampoo to wash my hair with. Um, it was cheap. So, that's why I bought the full size. There's no point paying £2 for this tiny little thing that's like this big for shampoo. When you can pay a pound for a big one. So, and I can use it indoors. Like, But that's everything that was in that bag. So, if I put it back. Um, the next thing I packed were just some fuzzy slippers. I don't know if my feet are going to get cold. I mean, it's the summer. I'm just over-preparing, I think. So, I just packed some fuzzy slippers. Like, maybe I just want to pop to the, like, go for a wee or something. And I don't want to put shoes on. That was my mentality. Um, I also packed some flip-flops for the shower. Um, because, I mean... Public toilets and showers aren't the greatest, are they? And they were clean last time I used them, don't get me wrong. I just felt like I could have used some flip flops. I think it's going to make me feel more clean. I don't know if that makes sense. But I just, yeah, I packed some flip flops, basically. And then I packed some going home clothes. I just packed a um, pair of jeggings and a top. Which isn't a maternity top. I packed a normal adult top. It's a bit creased. But I don't really iron my clothes anyway. And I'll be coming home. I might even wear my pyjamas home. You never know. Um, so. Yeah. I packed that. So I got. I packed jeggings as well. Because I wanted it to be tight. And suck me in a little bit. Although. I think. Like I was a size 20. I don't think I'm a size 20 anymore. I've lost a stone since. Being pregnant. And I'm pregnant. If that makes sense. So I'll probably be like a size 18, maybe in a, even a 16 in jeggings um, once I give birth. I don't know. Obviously, your stomach don't go down straight away anyway. But I remember I couldn't walk properly to the car because I felt like all my insides were just empty. It was really weird. Um, and then the last couple of things is a long sleeve night shirt with a button down bit in the middle so that you can pop your boob out if you need to. 
and then because it's going to be hot that's the only one i have that's like that because it's going to be hot a short sleeved so if you've got background noise maybe just watching tennis hobbies um a short sleeved a night shirt that my mum bought me for my birthday and it's huge it's so soft it's from primark it's creased it's dumbo i love it i love this night shirt oh my god i just want to wear it every night but i've put it away for my hospital bag um and then a pair of pajamas so just bottoms and a top just for when i've had the baby i can put pajamas on um for when i have visitors because i don't want to have my legs showing um and i might not want to have the blanket on me if you know what i mean or if i want to get up or whatever bottoms is going to be a good idea and i just thought oh, i'll pack the t-shirt as well because i've got the matching and then last but not least is a towel for my shower that i will have um that's everything that's in my hospital bag if you have any other um ideas of what i might need please leave them in the comments down below because my and me i've probably forgot something um other than that i hope you've enjoyed and leave any suggested videos down below in the comments if you haven't already watched my vlogs because uh, i'm daily vlogging and i'm hoping to vlog the birth so not the actual birth part where the baby comes out um but like the process and stuff my sister's gonna be one of my birthing partners and so is baby's dad mike um so we're gonna try and get as much footage as, as we can um so yeah that's everything i think thanks for watching please subscribe if you want to see more videos and i'll see you all tomorrow in my next video well that's what i say in my vlog so you know bye <laughs>